Chuck here with Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. And uh, I just had Wendy. Uh, sorry, Wendy, I don't think I ever ca caught your last name. You know who you are. Um, I got your message, and I thought it would just be a little bit easier to explain uh, and answer your question this way rather than uh, try to try to type everything out. Okay, this is Morgan. Hop up, Morgan. I know it's hot in here, ain't it, baby? Okay, now Morgan is a dilute. Morgan is a dilute. In her coat, you can see blue, and you can see fawn. Okay, she's a tricolor. Now, she is a dilute, and what happens is, is for every one of her babies, for every single one of her babies, she will throw a dilute gene to each one of those babies. Okay? Now, we pull these babies out here. If you want to take a look. <laughs> They've been playing in the water. That one's a, they're a little sticky. But if you'll look at these kits, you'll see that they all have something in common. And that's blue color. Okay? See? Blue. There's three. Look at this beautiful blue. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now look at this one. What do you think about that one? That's not a blue. That's a lilac. <laughs> uh, surprise. Um, so in answer to your question, this litter is entirely dilute. Okay. They're not all blue. Most of them are blue. They're all blue but one. Uh, keep in mind that you know, since black that becomes blue is dominant over chocolate, naturally you're going to get more blue. In a, in a, you know, you're, you're going to see you're going to see more blue than you would the chocolate, or in this case, lilac because it's dilute. Okay, chocolate diluted is a lilac. That's this little rascal right here. Okay, right here. A little lilac okay and set it come here <laughs> sorry I'm trying to do this with a camera phone just wanted to run out here real quick anyway can you see the difference blue and blue and lilac see them side by side this is cause this one has the chocolate were these were that were this rabbit not a dilute this little fellow could have been a chocolate and this one could have been a black okay now like as I was saying the entire litter, they all have something in common. And that is the dilution gene. They, every single baby is showing the dilution gene. Now what that means is, she's got the dilution gene, so she throws a copy of it to every single kit. Okay? These babies right here, their daddy is Blueberry. Let's go take a look at Blueberry. Now, you probably notice, right off the bat, Blueberry has something in common with that entire litter and with Morgan, and that is this blue color. Blueberry is a broken blue. Isn't he pretty? <laughs> yeah, he's my buddy. See him, see him checking out my hands? He thinks I've got Cheerios. I disappointed him this time, though. I didn't bring any Cheerios. Okay, now, since both parents are... Not blue, but dilute. Both parents are dilute. That means each parent throws a copy of the dilute gene automatically, okay, to each baby. Now, what happens is that means each baby ends up getting two copies. So you have nothing but dilute in that. So you have nothing but dilute in that uh, in that litter, okay. Now. That answers one question. If both parents, you can say blue or lilac, but the better term, if you're talking about, if you're talking about the gene that causes black to become blue, talk about their dilutes, okay? Because uh, depending on whether you started out with a black or a chocolate, that decides whether or not you're going to end up with a blue or a lilac, okay? So. Both parent, if both parents show the dilute gene, in other words, you can look at it and it's blue or lilac, and that's both parents, you know before they're even born that every single baby is going to be dilute. 
okay and that's exactly what we got with Morgan now look something else though that you can keep in mind broken both parents were broken and we're gonna look at Morgan's babies again and look here a broken broken come on come on look at this one this is a little Charlie Oh, and it's losing weight. I hope it's going to be okay. I hope it'll bounce back. I bet you I need to put a thing of water in here. Sometimes these little rascals, sometimes they, some of them don't learn to drink out of the little water spigot. I hope he does okay. But this is a little Charlie, and that's something that you're going to get. See how little color? Less than 10% color on the body of that rabbit. And what happens is, that I don't think it's going to make it, poor thing. Uh, so, the Charlie comes from having broken with both parents. Both parents are broken. Bear in mind, Morgan here, even though she's a she even though she's a tricolor, all a tricolor rabbit is is a is a rabbit with the harlequin pattern that's a broken. It's a broken harlequin. That's all a tricolor rabbit is. Okay? So she's a broken, blueberries are broken, which means we had the chance for a Charlie, and sure enough, we ended up with one in the litter. Now this little but notice that we don't always end up with brokens. Even if both parents are broken, you can still end up with about 25% being solid. And we ended up with two of them out of seven. Or wait, was it six? So we ended up, we ended up with about 33% solid this time. Okay. Now, your other question is, is, if you breed a blue to anything else, does that automatically mean that it will carry blue? And short answer, oops, let me put this cage. Short answer, yes. Yes, if you breed to a blue, because on the on the locust, the D locust for the dilution gene, you've only got pl a place for two genes there. And they are, are chromosomes or whatever, but you get they and they get one from each parent. If both of those are dilution or the lowercase d for the dilution gene, then that blue rabbit can't throw anything to its kids other than that one dilution gene, okay? So that means, you see what color iris is? I don't know how well you can tell, but you probably have been watching long enough. You know what color iris is. She's a gorgeous blue. She's an exhausted blue. These, ki these, kiddos, these kiddos of hers are just about to drain her dry, but see that beautiful blue fur? Look at all these kiddos. Does that look blue to you? No. Ba the, ki the baby, or the, I'm sorry, the sire to all five of these kids? Tag along. Now tag along duh, is homozygous for non-dilute. So on the D locus, he has two capital Ds, which means he, does, he has absolutely no dilute gene there whatsoever. And that's what I learned by this breeding. That and after this breeding and the outcome here, that led me to go back and investigate his pedigree a little closer. Five of these little guys, every single one of them, solid black. They're just as beautiful as can be. But here's the thing. If I ever want Tag's genes to make a blue, this is what I had to do first. I had to breed him to a blue. And now... I'm going to have to save the one buck in this litter. I'm going to have to save it for myself. And then I will have, and I don't know which one it is. Uh, I know there's one buck and four, bu four does in there. Okay. Every single one of those will carry the dilution gene. Okay. And that just simply means I'll raise up the little guy and then I can breed him even though he's, oh, even though the little guy is going to be black, I can breed him to Morgan. I can breed him back to Iris. I probably won't do that though. I can breed him to Hershey because she carries dilute. I could breed him to Twix because she carries dilute. Any one of those does could then have blue genes or blue kits. Okay, with that baby. Tag, no matter what I breed him to. I, I mean, I've got him. I, Hershey is bred to tag right now. And I'm doing a test breeding three generations back. There was some chocolate in tag's back, background. 
Everything else has been solid black in his in his lineage, okay? So what we're checking into is is Tag carrying the chocolate gene now. And once we determine that, but the way it stands right now, as far as I know right now, Tag will never be able to throw anything other than a black baby. Okay? I'm trying to determine if he can possibly throw a chocolate, but I haven't done that yet. Okay? It's in his pedigree, but whether or not he actually carried that gene forward the three generations or whatever, we don't know. Okay? So we come over here, but... Some, some would say, well, that that's kind of limits your options. Well, yes, it does. But on the other hand, you see this young lady right here? She, too, is homozygous for black. To my knowledge, well, going back to three generations that are on her pedigree, there's nothing but black and black otter in her lineage. Okay? Now, they both have beautiful, dense, gorgeous fur, and they're both homozygous for black. Okay, that's what I wanted. I was looking for a buck when I bought Tag specifically to breed to glow stick. I wanted a buck that was homozygous for black. Although if it had been one that would carry dilute, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been unhappy about that. Okay. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna raise up the little buck that carries blue over here out of iris, and I'll use him any time that I desire a possibility for getting a blue kit in the in the litter. But in the meantime, Tag's sole purpose in life is to take care of this young lady, okay? Uh, they say marriage is forever, and well, these two, they are going to be, uh, in fact, she is, she just had a pair. Uh, I didn't really get any video. Uh, the weather was so poor and what have you. She was in the house. She gave birth to two babies. Um, we think one of them got out of the cage. One of them got loose. And I think the cat got it, thought it was a mouse. Sad, yes, uh, unavoidable. It could have been avoided had I left her outside and let her have babies in a drop-down nest box, just like I've always intended. I never should have really started bringing does in the house anyway. If they can't raise does in Arkansas winter climate, really, then I probably need better does, uh, honestly. I mean, it sounds harsh, but, you know, when you keep rabbits in cages, nature doesn't do the selection. You know, there's no natural selection anymore. We have to do it. And we have to be as harsh as what nature would be if we want these things to continue. Anyway, um, so I hope I've answered your question. If not, you know, uh, follow up with another question or word it a little different or something like that. And maybe you can... Maybe you can coerce me into giving you the answer that you're looking for. But if both parents are dilute, all the kits will be dilute. If one parent is dilute, then every kit in that litter will carry dilute. If they both, if you've got two blacks and they both carry dilute, then you're going to get some blues in the litter, most likely. That's what led me to investigate tags. Uh, knowing that is what led me to investigate Tagalong's pedigree further after these guys were born because there should have been a couple of blues in there if he carried the blue gene because I know that Iris there, she doesn't have anything but dilute, okay? So, uh, Wendy, I hope this answers your question. Anybody else watching? I mean, this was for everybody, but Wendy specifically asked me the question earlier on Facebook. And I just thought I'd come out here and make a video because doggone it, I haven't done that, and y'all are gonna think I've y'all are gonna think that I've abandoned the channel or something. But uh, we've been a little active, had some good news. Those that like our Facebook page on uh, yeah on Facebook already know the good news probably. But uh, I'm gonna have some more videos coming up in uh, the next days this week, and uh, got some good news to share with you. Got some updates. So until then. Y'all have a great day, and God bless.